Welcome to the Bad Movie Night Podcast, covering the worst movies you've never seen. We hope you enjoy listening to Bad Movie Night Podcast. Welcome back to the Bad Movie Night Podcast. My name is Chris, and tonight we have all become one with the Lord, and that is, of course, Nicolas Cage. And tonight we are talking about the 2014 movie Left Behind. Back home again soon, right? Here. Car's in the usual spot. And go easy on Mom. She'll come around. Yeah, she will. <laughs> Mom always comes around. Comes around. Um, guys, we're back talking about Left Behind, which is, of course, the religious uh, epic spanning epic. multiple movies, apparently, in considering how this one ends, starring the one Nicolas Cage. This was a Patreon pick from David Black. From David Black. David Black. David Black. Thank there you. you. Go. Uh, Lindsay, once again, out of the show. Permanent Who could say? Probably permanently. I would guess at this point. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. You missed two in a row. That's two in a row. You're pretty much I mean, done, right? You're done. You never do that. You're done. That you was never... true. Spiv would never be back. <laughs> That's true, too. Spiv's dressed like... Uh, I took a year off. Spiv's dressed like that guy from Apple who made all the stuff and then died. What was that guy's name? Steve Jobs. Steve, Steve Jobs. Jobs. Jack Dorsey? He doesn't have, he doesn't have a turtleneck. <laughs> I can't see the neck. There's no neck. You, I'm. I. It's implied turtleneck. I have I think. a beard. Implied yeah, Steve, neck. Steve I'm, Jobs would cry all the time in meetings. Oh, what? Fuck off, Just Steve Jobs. Openly cry. <laughs> what the fuck, Spiff? Do yeah. you openly cry in meetings? So, uh, yes. <laughs> all the I, time. I openly cry attractive. in job interviews. Is that a? Is that a problem? <laughs> Could be why Maybe that's why you're still high. getting work, dude. <laughs> I'm desperate. <laughs> Put that anything. on your website. Jeez, man. <laughs> no, I would never do that. I've I haven't been to a job interview in a long time. I feel like if I went to a job interview, I would knock that shit out of the park. Yeah. Yeah, it's just nobody gives me a chance. I'm like, put me in coach, and they're like, no, you fucking loser, and You're they not never do. Cover play. letter. Now, Chris, uh, tell, tell no. me how you would uh, handle working on multiple high priority projects at the same time. Well, Spiv, cryogenics and a lot of uh, fusion of <laughs> e- energy with, uh, you know, syner- synergy. A lot of synergizing going on. Synergizing. Yeah. <laughs> and, answer, uh, you great, know, great we'll answer. just be a team player and a sport on the same squad. And that's how we make things happen around here. Mover and a shaker, basically. What, what would I'm you saying. say is your weakest quality? Well, you know, weakest quality is that I am too good at so many things <laughs> that it makes the other people feel bad about their inequality. <laughs> or their, their <laughs> Yeah, you did great. <laughs> when I go to the doctor, they say I'm too healthy. So the same doctor thing. said I'm in too good a shape. Too good a if shape. If I said you need to make this design pop, what would you do? I'd probably spit throw on it. Throw it at you. <laughs> <laughs> my my favorite one to ask is, what happened to the person that had this job before me? <laughs> yeah, why did they leave? Yeah, question. <laughs> what you asked that? I did. That's, that's yeah. a good one. That's a good one. And what do they yeah, say? They were way off guard. They were <laughs> way off guard, caught off guard by uh, it. Uh, uh, <laughs> like uh, uncomfortably. Uh, it was great. I did. Well, ask uh, he he got tired of doing the job of six people. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said the real. job that's was just question. too easy, and he couldn't do it anymore. He it's wanted just not challenging. Enough. He needed a challenge. <laughs> he wanted a raise, and we weren't giving those out for the last <laughs> ten years. So, I mean, <laughs> well, that's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta pinch the wallet or whatever gotta or something. Go the, gotta fund the couch money somehow. Couches, couches don't pay for themselves. They're growing trees. Exactly. You know, there's no they such thing as a couch trees. tree. Yeah, the wood to make them does. Why haven't we, as a species and as science, has progressed? Why haven't we made trees that money grows on? Why haven't we genetically fused these kinds of things into trees and, and just natural growth hmm. systems? Well, it would probably mess with inflation. <sighs> yeah, quite a bit. Yeah. And then you'd have the, the the tree standard instead of the gold standard. You can't fuck up inflation. Mm. And we don't have the gold standard anymore. <laughs> we have the... We, we have the 
Are real weak for dollar. it. It's worth something. It's yes. standard. Oh my god, it's all coming mm. down. It's all crumbling around. It's, it's all nothing means anything. When did they get rid of the gold standards? Was it like the 30s? 20s? Yeah, I think. Was it Teens? mid 30s? You guys can have a meeting about that. But I mean, now, you know, like, gold is not, I mean, there's realistically. There's enough gold in the world to fund right, yeah. the money right, yeah. in the world. So, yeah. It doesn't really, yeah. Can the I grow that on standard. trees? 1971 to curb inflation and prevent foreign nations from overburdening the system oh my by redeeming God. their dollars for gold. You should build some of those giant reflective like mirrors gold. that would bounce the sunlight off the planet well, so we all can survive in five years. <clears throat> yeah, you never know. Work. They could tap into some gold. You don't know where gold is, right? That's just under the ground, the, right? You guys pump for the eclipse? When is this Ooh, eclipse thing? Yeah, Monday, Monday at 2 p.m. Monday. What happens? I'm the sun just get for covered for a, a minute? I'm going to film it, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, be cool. you're gonna so film it. Tel- yeah, I got my telephoto with like ten filters on. <laughs> ready for the shit. Gonna need we some got, we got our glasses. We're ready glasses. Yeah. yeah. What if? Where'd you get your glasses? The I library. got mine on Amazon. Library. Interesting. What if? What if the sun gets covered, and we're all sitting there, and it never gets uncovered again? Well, then uh, that means that's a perfect segue the into the movie we're talking Left about tonight. Behind. Because people are thinking this may be it. People thought like Y2K was going to kill everyone. People thought that like uh, that's pretty much it. But people thought that, and that didn't turn out to be anything. So there you go. They thought it's been, been the end of the world hmm. many, 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 many times. Oh, and it's we'll get never into gonna... it. Yes, this is going to be a good game. Ooh, Jehovah's Witness quiz. Ooh. <laughs> Jehovah's Witnesses quiz. <laughs> Who is Jehovah, and what did he witness? I'll never <laughs> forgive those Jehovah Witnesses for how they pulled one over on me, but. What did they do to you, Chris? Into your house? They, they, did they come into your house? They had a hot girl and an old nice lady come to my door. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you were like, well, let me get the I was place. like, I pushed the <laughs> young hot girl out. Old. Pushed that young hot girl out of the way. And I was like, ma'am, how can I help you today? Yeah, they had me <laughs> <them> pegged. <laughs> they had me pegged. Literally. No, I'm just kidding. Time to move on. Uh, <laughs> guys. We're talking about Jesus tonight. One of uh, Sorry, AJ's favorite J man, topics. Right? The J man, J the big man. J, the big J in the sky. <clears throat> big J uh, on a big J plane. Light, l- light a J for the for my bro in the yeah, sky. This is Boeing meets God. Dr. Jesus MD. <laughs> if Jesus had a podcast right now, would you guys listen to it? Yeah, I mean, Absolutely. might be kind of good. Spiff, you I mean, look probably like Jesus. does. I'm just not listening to it. Spiff, here's... I dreamt it. I was Jesus once. Oh my I god. Oh my wait, we were wait, examining isn't that mind. That's the dream? foundation of like no, the British sure Elon Musk has a dream of the night too. Cult. <laughs> yeah. I dreamt that I was a prophet. I'm going to start a cult. <laughs> what does it mean if you dream you're Jesus? You went through or going through some st- stressful time. I love that you just Google. Dreams everybody. don't really mean Jesus that much, do they? I had a dream the other day that I was in high school and that like my ass kept sticking out. <laughs> it was cold. And people kept oh, saying, dude, your right, ass is sticking out. Here. And it's just because like there was no blankets no, and my ass was literally that, cold. That was not a dream. That was a memory, Aaron. There was a difference. <laughs> <laughs> you know, dreams don't really necessarily mean anything. So it's of dreaming that he's that Jesus. That I had a dream that I was eating nachos out of a queso <laughs> jar of queso dip okay. yeah. and I, I told aj this already but i looked down and there was these fuzzy black things and i was like is that mold and then i realized it was bugs and i dumped it out because i thought they were caterpillars and then when i looked closely they were miniature kittens and puppies and they were adorable oh, God. <laughs> you, were you need to lay off the drugs man <laughs> i did do edibles right before bed yeah that's probably a bad idea <laughs> I slept like a baby, and it was a good dream, and I remember it. Slept like a baby eating puppy dogs that's and... just been eaten. I didn't eat them. I thought I... You I, were I eating I, queso-covered I was, puppies. No, I didn't eat the actual puppies. I ate the queso dip, and then I was disgusted because I thought... Anyways, it's time to move on. We have a lot to talk about. AJ, we are talking about Jesus. We are talking about God, Lord above. Uh, and if there's one person who's an expert on this subject, it is you. So will you tell me what the 2014... Hey movie Left Behind Mm -hmm. is about. In a world in which Nicolas Cage can fly a plane. I am a pilot. Everyone disappears. I don't know what happened to them all. That's my Nicolas Cage. It looks like the Christians were right. (sighs) Why is everyone fighting? Because they're not Christians. They're mean to the little person. (laughs) 
find out they punched it or in not the fucking airplane. in the 2014 <laughs> reboot the Christian classic that is left behind. Hell on earth. Ready to die because this entire premise of this movie is incredibly stupid. That's not saying I'm not here to criticize religion. Not yet. Not yet, but we'll get to that part. We'll get there. Don't worry. We're all gonna <laughs> we'll get to that, that in the review. We'll get to that in the review. Uh, <laughs> We're um, definitely going to be there. We got a lot to unpack with this movie. Uh, but oh, that was good, AJ. It was a good premise, whole section. Aaron, Thanks. do you have a 45 minute AI thing you put together that you would like to present I, I to us? I do not have a 45 minute AI thing, but I have yeah. a short, what's a short, typical okay. history so, one. So it's like 20 minutes. Okay, you let's complain every time I do the hey, I think. I love it. I love it. All I do is complain. I, I love it. You complain. You're the one who complains. Yeah. You're like, oh, I didn't think it would be this long. Oh, oh. And meanwhile, it's it's hilarious. Yeah, Aaron. No one has ever complained. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. I mean, I'm still laughing about the the Willem Dafoe. This is <laughs> the Raptor cannot come. Through, this is know. this is what I I <laughs> think. <laughs> His forehead would become the, the bridge of the ship. This is this is called. <laughs> but it never is. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Aaron, what you're doing is called projection. What do you mean? Self- How am I projecting? Mm. I'm self-deprecating. Yes, because I hate myself. Well, you know who doesn't hate you. Jesus, but you know what Jesus. sucks? This is well, not really <laughs> a real thing. So whatever. <laughs> hey, let's not let's not mock religion too quickly. Here, All right, right sorry, Aaron. We got Aaron, the, rest of the, night. We got the rest of the night here. Pretending to be the son of the other. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, we got. Wow. Okay, Chris. <laughs> oh, shit on a stick. One more guy here. Let me see this. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. Must die. That's freaking sweet. That is dude. badass. Yeah. It's really badass. Get sucked to hell. <laughs> 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 I just want to do something fun. I, I just, I don't know. A couple, a couple of the different covers for this movie have Nicolas Cage in different poses. They used the same body, but they like changed his facial expressions and things. So I thought, what would be better than making it a Renfield movie? So that's where we're at with this. Yes. Yeah, so, so this is the cover of Left Behind. The end begins, kind of, um, starring a bunch of people, some of which you may actually know. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. yeah. It was released on October of 2014. Some other October 2014 movies are Annabelle. Just when, Annabelle. Oh, that's that stupid doll movie. Anna uh, doll. Was it Anna Wahlberg's? Was in it? That's yeah. Megan is the doll movie. No, no, no. no it's well, like a, Annabelle it's like a the demonic doll thing. Yeah, demonic doll. doll. A uh, Gone Girl. It's a pretty decent, weird movie. Yeah, yeah. Gone Sorry. Girl was good. I liked it. Uh, we yeah. have. Um, sorry. Jeez, oh, Dracula Untold. I never saw that one. I never saw it. Looks stupid. It's untold. Untold. <clears throat> yes. Never to be told again. Um. Whiplash, Shame. Birdman. That was a weird ass movie. Birdman was fantastic. Oh, Michael Keaton. Uh, Dear White People. Uh, never saw it. Yep. Fury. Oh, with Brad Pitt and Shia yep. LaBeouf. LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Just me, Shia LaBeouf. LaBeouf. Wait, Dear White People. Buff that's a no. <clears throat> Um, Nightcrawler. Oh, it's a fantastic Night movie. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Night Night great movie. good year, man. Good year. Yeah. John John Wick. All right. And Ouija. Yeah. Origins of Evil. No, I don't know. <laughs> that is what the Ouija movie's called, isn't it? No, no it's, it's a sweet. Like that. Yeah, that would I is. saw that the first time like six months ago. What's that? John, John Wick? Wick? Yeah. Yeah, the first one's pretty fun. Movie. Yeah, Ouija, yeah. Origin of Evil. That's what it is called, Aaron. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Origin of Evil. All right, so this movie was directed by Mike Flanagan. Well, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I never saw it. Um, so our director for this was Vic Armstrong. Uh, you know who Vic uh, Armstrong Vic is? Vic Armstrong. Hi, everybody. Vic, I'm Vic, Vic the Armstrong. Trick. Apparently he was the guy who jumped from the horse to the tank in Indiana Jones. Yeah, he was a stuntman for over 30 years. Left school at the nice. age of 14 and started working with his father. Uh, the attention of being a jockey, riding point to point, but he grew oh too big. So he basically just came from there into being a stuntman. He's been in all sorts of stuff hmm. like I Am Legend, The Penny Dreadful Show, Jack Ryan TV Show, Green Hornet, Salt, Shanghai, Robin Hood, Valkyrie, Mommy, The Tomb of the Dragon, Emperor. I didn't know what that one is. That might be the 15th movie. 
of Golden Compass, Mission Impossible 3, War of the Worlds. He's been a stunt coordinator in so many crazy things. Die Another Day, Gangs of New York, Charlie's Angel, Entrapment. That lasers and butt mm. scene is amazing. Oh, yeah, that was a great uh, scene. Black I Dog, <laughs> Tomorrow Never Dies, Starship Troopers. I'm just going to keep going. Black this guy's yeah, done a go ton of things. I don't know how he got involved as a director in this film, though. Well, did you see what the other movie he directed, Aaron? Well, recently, you mean? No, no. in the past. What? No, what? Joshua Tree. Oh. No. Really? With Dolph it's fucking Lundgren. Oh, okay, yeah, let me no. see. Let me see. Oh, yes, he does have six director credits. My bad. Dude, that's awesome. That's, that's crazy. Pretty cool. It makes a lot of sense. Learn. Yeah, because she does. Because this movie is... He, he did the TV yeah. series Young and Nana Jones, too, but Joshua Tree, yeah. And a Sunday horse from 2016. There are three writers for this film. We have Paul Lalonde, John Paytas, and Tim LaHaye. LaHaye! 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 Uh, Paul Lalonde (laughs) is a pioneering producer and screenwriter in faith-based and apocalyptic thriller genre. I don't, I don't get thrillers. it. Shocker. Yeah, apocalyptic thrillers. Um, he most recently did Left Behind, Rise of the Antichrist. Oh, well, no. Question. Oh, we get, we'll get to it. The rapture, the beginning of the end, between heaven and ground zero, the 12 biggest lies, shadow government, judgment, <laughs> left behind the movie, um, tribulation, vanished, well, apocalypse caught in the eye of the storm. The eye of a tornado. Th- this, is, this is a remake, though, right? <laughs> Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. That is correct. Well, it's a book. It's a book series. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's a series oh, of books. Mm-hmm. books Never read yeah. one of those. Yeah, there is one that stars Kirk to. Cameron. Yes, that was the From way original. back in the yeah. year 2000. Yeah, the books are really popular in Christian circles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Extremely popular. I mean, it kind of makes sense, make right? Like, them. Revelations is, like, the craziest fucking story in the Bible. Yeah. yeah. Like, it, it is like a... <laughs> It, it feels times. like a comic book. Uh, like a, it's like a. Uh, That's why the Jehovah's Witnesses are having so much fun. It's insane. Yeah, it, it's like just nuts. It's great. It's pretty fun. Um, all right, John Paytas was our other writer. Paytas. Pay penis. I said the quiet part out. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, uh, he he's known for writing things like the Apostle Peter. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the Apostle Wiener. Yep. <laughs> Saul, The Journey to Damascus, The Mark, Redemption, Road to the Ring, A Boxing Journey, Left Behind 2, Tribulation Force, and Deceived. Ginger. These guys are all kind of, yeah. Tim LaHaye. <laughs> LaHaye. Uh, he is, he's, he's the writer. He wrote the novel, so, you know, all these move Left Behind movies are based on his novels. Uh. Uh, um, he he died in 2016 at the age of 90. After seeing this. Wow. Yep, he never got to live to see the rapture. Mm. Oh. Well, well he's, you he's, do. Uh, he's okay. He can wait. Global yeah. warming will get us there. Don't worry. Yeah. I, I suppose so. I didn't see anything regarding the budget for this. It was rated PG-13. It was uh, mostly filmed in, I want to say, Louisiana. Louisiana. Baton Rouge. It was filmed in Baton Rouge. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean Nicholas yeah. Cage lives down there. He has like a house. And yeah, it had there. it had a budget of sixteen million dollars that was estimated and Shit. grossed twenty seven million dollars worldwide. That's got that cage. Yeah. You get the cage, you got cage money on your cage. hands. You got that. <laughs> you do. You yeah. can't go Thompson. wrong with the cage, man. So, Does have Leah Thompson too? <laughs> yeah, she's not in it very much. But Nick minutes, Cage. Yeah. Nick Cage agreed to do this mother, uh, do this mother, do this movie for his brother Mark, who's a pastor yeah, and a big fan a of the novels. That's why he did it. Yeah. Aw, and he fucking. And I'll save it for the review. Yeah, because of the general critical panning of this movie at the box office, uh, the producers decided to finance the sequel in an Indie Indiegogo campaign titled simply as "Help Us Make Left Behind 2. Campaign received eighty, practically eighty-one thousand dollars out of the half a million they asked for. That's Kevin Sorbo kind of money, boys. Ke- yeah, <laughs> yes. What are we gonna do? Eighty-one thousand dollars. We're gonna get Kevin Sorbo. Kevin Sorbo. A lot of greens. And yep. then we're gonna have a big tax write-off, guys, because this shit's gonna be awful. <laughs> okay, so um, the author Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins are the, the co-authors of the Left Behind series. Uh, they were given an advanced screening of the film. 
in January of 2014. Afterwards, LaHaye was quoted as saying, it's the best movie I've ever seen on The Rapture. And Jenkins was no. quoted as, Did I believe it does okay. justice to the novel and renew interest in the entire Okay, series. we saw the best movie on The Rapture. It was called Megiddo, and it made no sense with the title, <laughs> no, but it was Megiddo badass. Was so much cooler. Fucking great. That was I know. So a better. fucking devil came down. They blew him up with a tank and shit. It was off the chains. <laughs> it, was fighting everywhere. it was off the chains. I still don't know crazy. why that wasn't up for movie of the year. That was, that was the apocalypse, guys, not The Rapture. It's all the same yeah. shit, Spiff. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. We'll get Is into it? it. I don't know. Actually, probably not. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> there's a cool um kind of mistake in the filming of this when all when they're at the mall and all those people start disappearing the mm-hmm. kids clothing falls from the ceiling like why, oh, yeah, why were the was... kids at the ceiling were they floating away well i think oh, part yeah. of it was like the balloons pulled yeah. up so like we oh. all float in <laughs> the rapture i think that the, the the clothes stager probably had a very fun time in this movie probably I, yeah. I wanted to see people get like sucked into the sky like that other movie I can't yeah, remember the name of. That alien movie with what's yeah. her face? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So That's so badass. cool because it's just like <laughs> I'm talking to you, you're talking to me. <laughs> they get sucked into the sky. Yeah, that's so <laughs> like, cool. I wanted it to be like that. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> For well, yeah, we're getting into the review already. Continue. Sorry, Chris. Uh the best quote on IMDB for this movie is Hasid <clears throat> in brackets kicks the midget passenger down the escape slide. <laughs> That's not really a quote. <laughs> There's no dialogue there. That was fucking great. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. That was out of nowhere. I was like, what? what are we doing? And yeah. is he just not being saved because he's a little person and Jesus hates well, little people or something? He's a terrible person. He's yes. a gambler. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll, we'll, we'll get, get into he's that. A, we'll he get gambles, to it. Don't worry. Guys. We'll get there. We'll get there. We can talk about that about 20 minutes. Tell you. All right, Chris. I think that's all I got for today. All right. And that's going to do it for this week's episode, guys. Oh, no, we didn't talk about the movie yet. All right. We're going to move on and talk about Left Behind. That's Not right. to leave any of you behind. Stick around. Here we go. Glory. Hey everyone, this is Chris, and just reminding you in the still of tonight to go to patreon.com slash badmoonnightshow and sign up. For $2 a month, you get access to the exclusive bonus podcast pre-show, as well as other bonuses. That's patreon.com slash badmoonnightshow. All right. AJ, what did you think of the 2014 smash hit starring one Nicolas Cage, Left Behind? I was I was excited. We have Nicolas Cage on a plane, and it's a Christian classic. I mean, it's like hitting all the check marks, right? All of them. Um, all of them. You know, this movie was quite the action epic. I wasn't quite expecting that, you know, especially with the budget and just when shit hits the fans. It really hits the fans in this world. And uh, you know, it's also kind of the problem with this whole concept. It's uh, unfortunately often... The religious views of if you don't agree with our religion, you're instantly a terrible person and uh, chaos will rain down on earth because of that instantly. Just those ideas that are just, you know, um, pretty, pretty fucking awful. So from that perspective, I didn't really like the movie. I did find it interesting how chaos just kept going you know like the school bus driving off the highway like <laughs> hours later and kids like it's just like it just didn't end you know I just I was really shocked by it you know honestly I was just shocked I think at the lack of ending that too yeah okay uh did you did it move you uh into a different space thinking about uh your religious thoughts and all that stuff no it just made me angrier and that's basically how i feel with christianity in general so mm-hmm. jesus christ i mean jesus i mean, I mean <laughs> no, whatever uh, Aaron, what did you think okay Pontius, <laughs> chill out over there um i was you know i was worried about this one because similar feelings about some of the subject matter is just the ridiculousness of, of it um i was really worried when the movie started and we get all this like hallmark music playing and the acting oh, yeah. is super God, bad man. I'm like, oh, no, it's going to be all this with, like, one little tiny plane crash in the end. 
but it uh it actually from there it really starts to pick up pace pretty quickly and we get what's kind of a crappy cheap disaster movie and a plane movie rolled into one starring Nicolas cage like it's it's pretty fun <laughs> it's really stupid <laughs> but i didn't hate it big fan <laughs> no but i didn't hate it rebecca yeah i mean it starts off kind of a downer with like Nicolas Cage is cheating on the mom and you know there's obviously the tension cage. between all the families but then it like it really ramps up once like I was surprised at how quickly the people disappeared because <laughs> then it just kind of yeah. <laughs> went off from there um, the chains non-stop action once that happened um, but yeah it was it was interesting to watch did you find the disappearing satisfying though? No, because it was just, just like so anticlimactic. It's like a parlor yeah. trick, dude. Yeah, like just all of a sudden there were empty clothes. Uh, yeah, like well, that's how it is. That's that's how that's how it's written in the book, people. Mm -hmm. All right, interpreted. I know, as but real. but in a visual medium. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of. Uh, Okay. They didn't have the budget. Well, I think also yeah. when you think about this, they, they want children to watch this because ultimately that's how you indoctrinate people. You get your children. They want the kid to, to just disappear. So, they, they, yeah, <laughs> it has to be not too scary that kids right. can watch it and then believe. But believe we that. never see the kids in going to heaven or anything. We don't see that side of it. Mm -hmm. No, we don't. You've got to have go to faith, hell. Aaron. It's called faith. If you have faith, you'll disappear someday in a mall. <laughs> Come to the mall, Timmy. Man, they Only must get hit by that drone 18. in there. You see that? The drone scared. was huge too. Spiv, what scared. did you think? Yeah, this movie. I was expecting something like kind of heavy-handed and preachy, and and then the opening happened, and it was kind of heavy-handed and preachy, but in a bad <laughs> acting kind of way. But once it got going, this movie was just like ridiculousness, at like scene after scene, just just ridiculous. Uh, so I had a good time. It was fun. Big fan. Big fan. Best movie of the year. Yeah, I uh, I think uh, it started, yeah, it, I feel like it's a little long. But otherwise, I was on board. Um, my main thing is, like, Nicolas Cage, he might not give a shit about this movie, but it doesn't show in his performance. Yeah, he shows yeah, up, fucking man. guy he shows He shows powers. up all the time. That's why I love him. I, I, the whole time I was just enamored with Nicolas Cage, and I was like, there's yes. the real God, you guys. <laughs> Why are you in this? Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's your real... You, you want God? You want a God? <laughs> there's, there's a God. There's the real God. <laughs> he towers among mere mortals. Um, he was fantastic. <laughs> the woman in it, the young woman, reminds me of uh, that girl from The Boys, Starlight. Is that her name? What? She looks oh, exactly yeah, like Starlight from The Boys, I think. I can see that. Um... Cassie Thompson Who's and like Chloe Steele. I think I think my my main problem Apparently. with the movie is if it's a right wing religious movie, which it is. I don't think I understood what I'm supposed to learn from this. You're supposed to know already what what it's about and be and it's supposed to scare me that, it's, it's, no, that everybody's going to gonna suffer. To it's Christianity, yeah. Chris. A lot but, of it's about seeing other people suffer. But <laughs> I was like, yeah. that's what this is. It starts out with like. Uh, that That's woman arguing with Chad Michael Murray about like yeah faith I and the stuff beginning wasn't too bad, and, well, and, which was an interesting tone set, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. When they were like asking for his autograph and stuff as he's walking through the airport, I was like, oh, he's like a baseball player or something, yeah, and then it turns yeah. out he's yeah. an investigative journalist. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was like <laughs> a musician or something. I could figure well, it out. Rebecca, a sexy investigative journalist. <laughs> yeah, it's rugged. <laughs> But the I, thing I appreciated, they set up all the, uh, the like the Christian enemy tropes. You know, there was the, the doubting college yep. kid. There was the cheating husband. There was the drug addict. Yeah. There, there was the Muslims. Oh, oh gosh. I know Quote the gamblers. Terrorists. <laughs> See, that's that's a the black lady who but, happens to have a kid with a <laughs> sports person. Who, who what did she do wrong? Her husband set up. Well, she's that's, not, that's the, she's not the proper demographic for the. That's, that's what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. All this, it's about making you feel guilty that you are wrong, and getting you to buy into. No, it. Well, yeah. well, the whole thing. Even the no. This is this is this up. is disaster porn for people that want to watch the world burn because they think they're going to heaven, and everybody else that is sinners should burn in hell. 
Oh, well, there's there's a strong sense. amount of people that are Christians that view the world that way rather than yeah, yeah. the positive way. I didn't. The thing of it is, is the people that got sucked up, they were all stupid and annoying anyways, and everybody left Get behind sucked. were cool. Like, I want to be <laughs> left true. behind with all the cool people. But I know. Well, that's why I said I was like, now the world can start getting better. <laughs> but the, the, <laughs> so the, the, of all the crazy people. The, the problem that this <laughs> movie has is as soon as people get bit get sucked away, uh, that's when, like, all of a sudden, they get sucked off. There's like a purse. There's like a purse snatching, and you're like, oh my god, the world now. It's so scary with this purse snatching. Because well, there's no Christians to keep it in order. But yeah. no, it's chaos. It's just chaos. Yeah, remember that guy got shot by the shotgun? Yeah, yeah, because he was stealing all the fucking stuff. Yeah, like, but I want I wanted the people to be like look bad. evil. I wanted them to look like like demons. Mm -hmm. Chris, well, as what? soon as all the children disappear, of course you're gonna rob all the stores. Like, <laughs> why wouldn't you? <laughs> of course, of course. Of course. First thing, well, and, and first a lot yeah. of things. I mean, the end of the too. world. You need more TVs. Yeah. The thing Obviously. of it is, is it was like one tenth, if even, of the population, which would have an impact. There's that Showtime HBO show, whatever, The Leftovers, which I never watched, but it looked like Leftovers. I think this is what it's called <laughs> Left by Leftovers. I think it's called The Leftovers. That's behind Leftovers. The last last week's people or something. I don't know. Uh, last week tonight. Last week on the people. The uh, but I think that show is about a rapture, but mm -hmm. then. It's all about the character dynamics of, of the people who are left behind and dealing with the loss and all that. And why weren't they sure. taken or all that. I'd never watched it. So I could be diving into it wrong. It could be not that. But in my mind, that's the proper way to tell a story like this. It's not people get sucked away and then all of a sudden I'm going to snatch some purses and fucking, mm -hmm. you know. I'm finally free to do. All I'm these free. Things. It's not like the purge or anything. It's, it's like, nice. where did where did Aunt Sally go? Them. I don't know. Well, what do we do? Do, do? Because Aunt Sally's gone you. now. You it's not. That's the that's thinking, store. though. That's the thinking. That's literally the thinking. Chris, the only reason that you do that good things have. is because you want to go to heaven. So <laughs> exactly taken away from you, you just do all the bad stuff. Uh, that's the thought process. Is the yeah. only reason people are morally good or or do morally correct things is because they want to get to heaven. Exactly. Yeah, I've, I've I've dealt with this a lot in my A B to C. People dude. questioning like. You know, that is the dumbest thing I've ever other heard. Religions and things, and like, well, if they don't believe in Christ, like, how can that's, they be that's good the people? Biggest problem. How do they? Like, how do they not do these horrible things? And like, do you, are you defaulting you to doing the, horrible the things? The only thing that's stopping you is your belief. And then you have the audacity got a to push that on other people, dude. Like, it's 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 fucked up. Damn, I was right. I never even watched that shit. I really suck on that, Spiff. <laughs> suck on that. A lot of people think that unless they have that <laughs> guidance they'll be terrible people because they have no moral compass of their own. That's fair. And I do I do see the value in some people actually needing that in society and it can literally help some people get on the track. It can, like, can people comfort there is some value to that. So yeah. Yeah. But my but my my point of all this is even if this was fantasy and not reality for some people, this storyline, I think there's a much more interesting story to be told as opposed to this mm -hmm. Yeah. apocalyptic event that doesn't really feel apocalyptic I guess mm -hmm. if they had like demons or something too that were like uh, uh, like starting the rioting and whatever making chaos and Aaron when you're done typing your memoirs we're doing a podcast <laughs> Jesus Christ man um, I, I needed some more catalyst I think everybody would be yeah. in shock and there would be initial like crashes and stuff and be like oh my god what happened but it should have taken place over days I don't understand why this whole movie is just Nicolas Cage in a plane. Because that's what you pay for, dude. That's what the audience wants. That's the what cage. they want. I can't get oh, enough. Of. Fly that fucking plane. Oh, I, I wanted this to be yeah. like Revelations. I wanted dragons. I wanted yeah, earthquakes. Cool. You say I that all the time. A ghost fire. rider at the end. That'd be but fucking badass. But I think badass. it gets Focus. more like that <laughs> when you get into the other Yeah, yeah there's 14 Evil beasts. But the other one has yeah. Kevin Sorbo, and he's stupid, and Nicolas Cage is awesome. <laughs> The sun exploding, <laughs> you know, all those crazy things. I want to see the stuff. I want. They were at one point talking about when uh, rapture happens, the people left behind will deal with pestilence and and mm -hmm. right. rheumatoid arthritis and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, let me see that arthritis really kick in there. And it never happens. It's just a, mm. a purse snatching, a plane crash, and that's it. And that city's burning at the end. But yeah. Yeah, why was Empty the city school burning? buses crashing? Where are the, the four horsemen? 
That's the apocalypse, guys. I all right, know. so I know. <laughs> I don't care. I want it. I want it's it all. Two things. I know it's two things, but I want it all in one movie. All right. Yeah, so this Nick Cage too much as a pilot during the Rapture, and I want it to roll right into the. Okay. Know, the, the four yeah. horsemen sitting in. Do you think class. it's a little yeah. unhinged that she went home and expecting to find the kid <laughs> at the house? Well, she oh, thought yeah, he was going to be like everywhere. I think it was like desperate. she thought he was in yeah. that ambulance at one panicking. point that was nowhere. And that's close what Christians to where... think will happen. <laughs> Your mind will fall apart, and you'll think the kid's anywhere. <laughs> I think. I think it would be. I mean, I don't know what I would do if all of a sudden I'm holding something and they're gone. I'd be like, oh my god. Yeah, it'd be shocking. Exactly. It'd be very shocking. <clears throat> but I feel like you'd come back to your senses at some point, and and. You know, not Rob. And you'd go everybody. to track down Hillary. Or uh, not think that people. the plane landed while you were asleep and your daughter was taken <laughs> off and this was a big conspiracy for your husband well, to yeah. get your daughter. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't believe in the J-Man, though. What did you say, Spill? Spill? <laughs> Something about Hillary Rodham Clinton? What did you say? In the, in the pizza, in the pizza uh, place. Uh, That's where you go first. Yeah, That's where you get place. the kids. Oh. <laughs> They're snatching up everybody. Oh, pizza like Pizza Gate or okay, the basement. Got, uh, got Dude, that really happened. Right. People got, <laughs> got <laughs> injured. <laughs> All right. So the movie opens <laughs> with this 30 year old girl who's in college returning <laughs> uh, to the airport. She's come home, and it turns out that her dad, Nicolas Cage, isn't going to be there because he got called into work. But it's revealed later he actually planned this because he's yeah, trying to bang. He's, yeah. he's trying he's to have an affair with the 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 flight Stewardess. attendant. Stewardess. Yes. Yeah. But it's their his relationship with his wife is on the rocks or it's over. I'm not mm. sure because she became uh, a a, per, a persecuted Christian as they all are. Yep. Um. Just within the last like year or two. Yeah, yeah. I would like, drive away. Dude, for, for, if, for if anyone goes and does like a hard ninety degree turn in over a very short amount of time, that is concerning whether they become religious yeah. or not. Something yeah, happens. Unless they're a yeah. rally driver, yes, agreed. Unless they're making a hairpin right, <laughs> then you're right. right. Then you're good. Hairpin yeah, right. Jump uh, the head. Or I could see becoming not religious because you have somehow found critical thinking skills. But like <laughs> <laughs> somehow found <laughs> critical uh, somehow. But I'd like to think that. Yeah, Sean's okay, so Nicholas Cage gets you two tickets. That's how he's gonna have <laughs> blown the socks <laughs> off the store. Finds out that it wasn't. Isn't she like twenty years thing. younger than him too? Does she even know who you two is? It's Nicholas Cage, Aaron. If but Nicholas Cage see how black his timeless. hair was, it's so it natural. Age. Yeah. His name it's is age. Rayford. If Nicolas Cage said, Chris, I'm taking you to London to see you two, I would say, yes, sir. And I hate Fuck everything yeah. about all that. Like, I hate you two. I hate London. I hate Chris, flying. it would be a beautiful day. It's a beautiful you know, day. I didn't used to hate you two. Like, some of their old, old stuff I didn't hate. But then they put it on every Hello, goddamn Asia. Apple product. The new album. <laughs> every time I started my car, it would play that fucking thing. Yeah. They over fucking ruined Apple phones for everybody. Over. It's like a and virus, like, you know dude. what? I officially hate you two now. Yeah. Yeah, you two's a big file shit. Biggest misstep. Uh, Chad Michael Murray's in this movie. He plays sexy yeah. uh, s- uh, journalist who immediately starts hitting on Nicolas Cage's daughter, forms a quick relationship. Then He's he becomes. Fast. He moves fast. Yeah. He's starting some mutton chops there. I'm sorry. I got a little distracted. His He's beard got some was mutton awful. chop things going on. I thought he looked right? fantastic. Yeah. Look at that. Wait, yeah, I mean, he, he was a all... weird he was shape all... to it on the yeah. one side. It looked like and... it was going to be mutton chops. Really? Look at that. Yeah. Dude, he, he, he just grew him out a little on. bit. It's weird shaping. He has it going on. I think he's good looking. She's like, he's, he's a so dreamy. Um, <laughs> they get on the plane. Nicolas Cage and Chad Michael Murray get on the plane. And that's when the rapture occurs. And it's revealed that a few people are left behind. Like... Uh, the little person is left behind because Jesus doesn't like little people. Yep, of course. Um, and that's and that's basically it. Uh, Kenny Powers is on there, and uh, a few other people. So they the never lady with, with dementia is left behind because <coughs> she forgot to go along. She has she has dementia, and she's <laughs> doing like that. Can you take the dementia lady? Can we talk about the odds of? 
colliding in air with another plane. <laughs> oh, boy, that whole scene. <laughs> that is just nonsense. It was great. Uh, fairly low. Like That's the, what are the odds? The, as someone who plays Flight Simulator quite a lot, all the aviation stuff in this movie was completely wrong. Yeah, they didn't even try. <laughs> they did not even try. What are you talking about? Are you telling oh. me Nicholas Cage is not a flight <laughs> plane? Spot on. <laughs> he was actually flying a plane. I liked how the Raptor uh, took the autopilot as well. Yeah, well. The autopilot was Christian. Well, why didn't Cage, <laughs> why didn't Cage disappear? He's the one having the affair. <laughs> why is uh, he still on the fucking plane? So that is my question. <laughs> what is the criteria for getting raptured? How do you was, does one get raptured? <laughs> a true believer. Let's talk gotta, about you this. You gotta believe. So you don't, you don't, uh, yeah. Why, it's why, not a why is it? It's a reward. Yeah. Um, and if you don't believe in the right God, you... you so you do fear. I have to be baptized? It's oh, all yeah. about just believing. Well, you do? It's so. more about believing. Well, it depends on what part of the Bible you read. You get yeah. mixed signals. <laughs> but supposedly you just have to believe that you have Jesus to believe. is your Savior. All can for be the sins committed by man that man uh, made because they were created in God's image and he chose to make man suck and therefore man needs to pay for the crimes that God make man do it's pretty close. about Original apples sin. and trees of knowledge and so, towers of babel you know etc cetera, etc cetera. humans mm. are terrible so all the people that get sucked away are all devoutly off, religious We've decided on sucked off so all the people that get sucked off <laughs> are <laughs> devoutly religious yes they all have cross necklaces which is surprising when thoughts. the pastor is still there the pastor because he thinks it's it? all bullshit he is it? He, uh, oh, i said all the words by memory but i, I didn't, didn't actually really believe them and therefore he's stuck here with the rest of us yes and, and all children under age of 18 are raptured because they're not legal adults <laughs> that's how it's yeah isn't it catholic so isn't it like if you're if you die before so, you're two or something then you all automatically go to heaven so that like was that, yeah. like that. that that was gonna be i thought i thought there was gonna be an interesting moment in this movie where there was a pregnant woman whose fetus got raptured oh mm. that would be saying a lot of stuff chris but it would be saying the stuff that they believe right because so, they think life starts like guys jizz would be raptured you know what I mean? Like <laughs> the balls That's just true. a guy's like shooting a load, and like the load is raptured mid, like rapturing or something. Well, you if you're I mean, rapturing into the air, you're already committing a sin. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like by that logic, you can keep going back. But I thought that would be like <laughs> that is dark, Chris. Damn. I'm not the one who believes any of this shit. I'm just trying to play by their rules. All right, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense to me. What did the little person do that they deserve to, one, not rapture him, and, and two, throw this fucking guy off the fucking plane? I wish I could find the clip. He was just a jerk to everybody. I thought I thought he was reasonable. I thought he was reasonable. Who? For the most part, the little guy. he was reasonable. He yelled at the guy who offered to put his suitcase in. Oh, that's in true. But there was, the well... He's getting that. You could see why he'd be a, sensitive about that. Though. Oh, you know what? He was an yeah. asshole too, because then he went through the Muslim guys thing because he thought he was a terrorist or something. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, the whole you're underlying. Right. That's one of the underlying things about this. It's awful. Yeah, because yeah. he's a Muslim, he's a terrorist. Yeah, he's a which which is weird because they paint him as not being raptured, but he was like a good person and wasn't he did everything. Right. Buddy, wasn't but his it's buddy a, a Muslim it's too? The Chris, it's, it's the wrong, wrong religion. religion. It's and the that, wrong religion. And that gets you not raptured? God. It has yes, to be. You don't play it is by the same the yes, Chris. <laughs> I mean, the books have very much in common. Yet. Oh, you're spoiling the end, Chris. I want to see the little person get thrown down the thing. <laughs> so apparently the entire air traffic control system is Christian as well. Yeah, because they're all Cause gone. No one's on the radio. And why yeah. is she running well, a slow motion with explosions? I thought it was more explosions? that there was like cool. so many people trying to communicate. Everything was like jammed up. Yeah, the cell phone carrier actually got sucked to heaven. That's why this would have made a great Langoliers sequel, radio waves, you know? Radio waves, Dude, Christian. I was getting hardcore Langoliers. <laughs> yeah, this would have been a great Langoliers oh, sequel. Oh, shit. They stole my <laughs> thing for this show that came out oh. 10 years ago. God damn it. Everybody steals from me. Um, the Langoliers was cool and made way yeah. more scientific sense than this did. Oh, yeah. Space Langoliers. So great. this woman getting thrown didn't get raptured because she does drugs. Mm -hmm. yeah. The one guy yeah. believes in aliens, so he yeah. doesn't get raptured. Oh yeah, of course. Mach yeah. forty. <laughs> it's the government's secret hyperjet. And this is the best part of the movie. Here we go. Yeah. Throw the little. 
Oh my god! Why? Why? <laughs> that's why he didn't go to heaven, Chris. Because he yeah, kicks right. little people. Yeah, yeah. That's just I mean, so he's he could do him. that. That's what you do. I think they could have made that worse. Christian, if he picked him up by like his pants off of and just threw him. <laughs> so unbelievable. The main, so the main, in the uh, the country of India is probably like perfectly fine through all this, right? Maybe because they're all Muslim. Isn't the majority of the world the religion Muslims? Oh boy, Chris. Well, what? what do we make up for Christian? Isn't we're oh like India? Is that what you said? I said or India. Like yeah. Oh, I don't know what Christians make up, but I don't think they're the majority think, by any stretch. I think well, stretch. they're falling a they're lot. Not, they're they're, they're depleting Hindu. quickly. They're depleting quickly. Which they used to be why like, there's a war on Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> that should have been a part of the movie. <laughs> it's probably yeah, one they're falling a lot. Uh, according to Christmas. population education, um, Christianity is 31%, Islam is 24%, Hinduism is 15%, and Buddhism is 7%. Oh, okay. So, okay. It would be the majority yeah. of people, then. Okay. A third yeah. of the world. Yeah, hard decline in Christianity in the U.S. How many that claim that? actually believe would it would get though. raptured yeah and is it a very specific element of christianity because isn't there a whole bunch it's of different just sects the Protestants, there yeah. is there you go hundreds and of thousands of different sects of christianity do they want to be like have you been in the heaven, midwest or do they oh want to get sucked off into the sky chris what is it that it they gets want? more extreme dude um. i want to be sucked off into the sky <laughs> <laughs> is this a hentai or something <laughs> <laughs> so they fly around in this plane for the yeah. majority of the movie. Uh, nothing is revealed for a while until Nicolas Cage decides that this is the goddamn rapture. And I forget what the catalyst was. That yeah, he, he saw like a out. photo or something. But he, he, saw, he saw that his pilot had Bible study on Tuesday. He's oh, literally the only person it. in this movie to realize it's a rapture as well. No one else talks oh. about it. Mm-mm. That's well, no because his wife believes in it. His wife knew all along. She told him all about it, down to the details. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if, if he would have just listened. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I mean, he's kind of better off. She's gone now, right? Like, they, they didn't like each that's other. that's the part I didn't understand. At the end, <laughs> when he's talking to the the flight attendant lady, he's like, "I'm mm-hmm. sorry," yeah. and I'm like, "But your wife's gone now. Like, your problem solved. You, yeah, you can do no, what we can start yeah. like focusing they, on like hard science and fixing the, the planet mm-hmm. now. Like, what are you worried about? I mean, all the scientists will still be on planet Earth. That's that's, that's the thing, AJ. It's nobody saves them but themselves with their use of technology and critical thinking skills to be able to land this plane <laughs> and all that stuff. God had nothing to do with it. <laughs> You're supposed to give your problems uh, to God and not do anything about it yourself. I almost wish this movie went a little harder on its preaching, because then I would have understood it more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like what I'm like, getting. I don't know what the hell they're talking. It about. It needs to be more heavy-handed. The reason they do that is because then they can show this to the children and, and make up their own rules and what actually happened. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. I get, I get trying, I get using fear because that is a tactic. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of times with oh this stuff, God, yes. it's like yeah, Brain put motion, fear into people. But Brain this motion. wasn't scary either. Of like being left behind. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, show me the I mean, cannibal be, people or something like that. It might be scary like. if you're a little Nobody wants to be left behind, left behind with later. cannibal I like people. If anything, I feel like if anything, you know, you're a kid watching, you should be scared of flying on planes after. Exactly. Which I already was. It's really disappearing. The worst part about it. I'd be like, where the yeah, fuck that, did I go? That Don't other plane little, had me, no pilot pilots left. All and yeah. and oh, all, the, all the babies get raptured. Does that mean they're babies forever in heaven? That sounds terrible. Well, children are innocent, so they get pulled up. Yeah, no but then they're forever babies, like vampires are forever vampires if they're like made a vampire yeah. at a child age. The, good question. The little brother will never. Can you be imagine having to take player. care of your baby forever? Because they're, they're like, age. oh god, I'm in heaven and now I have a baby <laughs> for literally. Oh, he's waking me up again <laughs> oh, for eternity. My god. Jesus Christ! <laughs> he's still waiting in the bed. It's been and then decades. Jesus comes over and says, well, "Stop <laughs> yelling my name." <laughs> no, oh, man. We we really need to make Jesus saves Chris. I need to write that script. Write it. I'll make it. Was it based off the Slayer song? No. <laughs> Jesus is like a down on his luck guy who owns a shitty grocery store, and his coupons are like Jesus saves. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah. So like it's actually that. the name yeah. of his store is Jesus Saves, mm. but he's actually Jesus. 
And it's just kind of, yeah. It's played by Jackie Anyways. Chan. I like it. <laughs> Jackie feel, Chan. I just, I what? feel like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I just feel like there's a lot of, like, uh, plot holes in this thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, yeah. The whole thing's ridiculous. Yeah. Have you read the stories this is based on? It's no. full of plot holes. But is this contradictions? Okay, I'm being serious. Have you read it? Is is this honestly what they think is like going to happen? A, it's been a, a, been a very long time since people, I read the Bible. Yeah. It has been a very long time, but I remember the rapture's not in it, the Bible, guys. No. It, it was invented in the 19th century. No, I know that. Oh, I'm really? About yeah. the Bible stuff. I don't want to ruin the quiz, but yeah. okay. I didn't know the rapture wasn't part of the Bible. Is it in the Bible Part Two? Return People of think the that they King. Have, like, <laughs> there's clues in the Bible yeah. about yes. this that they yes. put together. Uh, yes. It's a conspiracy, but it doesn't theory. come right out and say. No. How come there's not been like a new Bible? The Rapture was like an inside Bible. job. There has been yes. many times. Yes. Every every day there's a new. I don't. I mean, too. like recently. Like, give me the 2023 Bible. And what's new in there? There's all sorts it's of like NBA NBA sports Does it say anything about right, TikTok so we or got, anything? We got the new roster of <laughs> apostles. And, oh, uh, that is a sports the stats. All right, let's move on. Let's move on, people. Yeah. All right, fine. <laughs> We're right. Comic book here. Bible. Chris might like that one. Comic book Bible. Well, I don't feel any closer to God. And look, the I best feel like that's the one in my background. Heathen, dude. No, I'm not. I'm open. I'm open. <laughs> You're open. My mind is, uh, you know, it's open malleable. I'm open to things and ideas. And if you could give me a legitimate, you know, thing, maybe I would, I would consider it. I just don't feel like this did that. Okay. I think we did a good job of not like destroying religion completely tonight. Which I was impressed. Well, the movie didn't good get very everybody. preachy. It and didn't get very preachy. Yeah. 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 And okay, Nicholas Cage. There at the beginning. Dude, I'm gonna say if Nicholas Cage wasn't in this movie, though. Mm. I mean, this I is the thing, though. I this think it's the great been thing fun. about yeah, Nicolas Cage. So he shows up, he delivers in every role, and it doesn't matter what the movie is or how low quality it is. It's always going to be fucking awesome. And like, he has that magic. He is fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. He is amazing. He, there's no other actor in the history of acting that's been able to do this when Nicolas Cage is done. There's actors that show up. That continually in no like what him. movie? Not like him, I guess. Yeah. Even in, even in terrible. Uh, you know, yeah. yeah, there are. You know who I would say? Rucker Howard. Oh. Shut up. R.I.P. Rucker Hauer shows up. You fucking sit in your he tower over there. Get this award, fuck, sir. Fucking fucking <laughs> not see raptured Blind fury. <laughs> Suck it. Even raptured ninja. Basically, I must have missed that version of leaving Las Vegas. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I must have missed it. Yeah. All right, AJ. Would you recommend mm. Left Behind? Uh, not really. I, I really hate these religious movies. They just make me angry because you want to watch them all the time. What are you talking about? I know about? because there's. Well, you I want to watch the whole Jesus the, wheel. You yeah, to but I want to watch the ones that are off the wheel. Yeah, crazy. the ones that are like. You guys don't like, want to do it because now, it's too real for you. I want to watch those ones where they're like very overt. And they're yeah. Like, uh, I don't want to preach. That's where it's like great. A, it's like oh, it's mental so illness we're going yeah. into. That's that's I'm, I want to see that. Yeah, I want to see yeah. that. I want to see that yeah, train wreck. It's too dark for everybody here. So oh. I think it cuts a little too close to home for yeah. some of them. I mean, watch it for Nicolas Cage, but otherwise, hard pass. Come for the Jesus, stay for the cage. Yeah. Aaron? <laughs> Aaron um, Ryan? Not yeah, I mean, one. yeah, the subject matter is what it is, and some people believe it, some people don't, but I think that the film itself was pretty damn entertaining. So if you could get past the... Um, not even really overtones. It's almost religious undertones in a sense. If you can get past that where it doesn't bother you or you believe it, I think you'll really enjoy this because it's fun. And it's stupid. Becca. Really stupid. Um, I think Nicolas Cage really added to this. I yeah, think it would did. be different um, without him in it. Um, it was a lot of action. It's just it, the whole story is hard to to get behind you're just mad because uh, you didn't get think sucked so. off to heaven <laughs> <laughs> spiff uh yeah no i recommend this one it was a lot of fun uh at the very end i mean the plane skids down this road that she's cleared with the pickup truck and and stops literal inches from the giant propane tank mm, thank goodness i, mean, that, I, I think that they clipped the, the propane movie. tank didn't they <clears throat> they what I thought they clipped it with the wing or something. They did not. No, no that they was clipped. the other one. That was one. something else that exploded. Uh, okay. That was the plane. 
They clip the. Uh, they get stuck on um, the electric lines or something, right? They yeah, the yeah, they wires. hit that too. Yeah. It rips that. off the landing Beautiful gear. Footage. I like yeah. how they do the Star Trek bouncing around on the chair thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. Amazing. Um. Yeah, I, I didn't find this thing not entertaining. Honestly, I think if it was about 20 minutes shorter, it would have been actually very entertaining. Um, <laughs> it's sparks. If, if their their goal was to like uh, make a Christian movie, but make it entertaining for everyone, I feel like they succeeded for the most part. But again, I didn't come away with a solid message that I, I think they wanted me to have about religion in this thing. So it left me more confused. And it, and the end was a bit disappointing because I just didn't feel like it felt like it was only just beginning. I don't think it was mm-hmm. aimed at you. I think yeah. this is aimed at people that are Christians and want. What's and the want point? The it's reinforced. It's right just now. a circle jerk about. Okay. See, I. I, Dude, okay. I mean, do you watch things you like, right? I've There's never things... watched a goddamn thing I liked in my life. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. I know. I hear you. This... <laughs> it's fucking. So, okay, but no, that that does make sense. That this is meant for already religious people who believe this stuff. I guess. I think so. Yeah, because I mean, to the rest of us, it looks like a good time. So I don't think it's going to scare me off. True. I don't know. Mm. All right. Well, you guys want to play a game? Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. Game time, baby. Your theories are the worst kind of pump. You try to do your best and slot in your conclusions are highly questionable. Shall we play? All right, we're going to talk a little bit about some uh, failed doomsdays and then get into what you need to do to prepare for the end times. So, starting off, uh, in 1806, what farm animal in Leeds predicted the end of days? Was it a cow, a chicken, a pig, or a goat? Goat. It's got to be a goat. Chicken. Cow. How did it, how, how did it, never mind. Well, it was a chicken, and it <laughs> laid A's, eggs that said the end is nigh. No, it didn't. What? what? <laughs> Pixar didn't happen. Yep. Uh, William Miller, shown here, determined what 1843 day would be the end day. Was it August 2nd, April 23rd, November 13th, or February 19th? April 23rd. November 13th. February 19th. November 13th. It was April 23rd. And this is what he thought it would look like. Uh, yep. Jesus coming down from the yep. heavens. <clears throat> In 1835, Joseph Smith told his Mormon followers that Jesus would return in the next how many years? Oh, it's come. It's like 2200 something, isn't it? Uh, 400. Hmm. 200 pity. 393. He would return in the next 56 oh, years. Oh, that wasn't right. Well, that did How are there still point. Mormons then? Uh, <laughs> um, well, money. Well, yeah, Goals. what point are they like, well, maybe he's not coming back, I guess. Well, I guess uh, uh, they control the women. Was it, you know, was it 56 yeah, years or 50? They aren't they going to a planet years then? Too? Don't they have a special or... planet? Dude, it's a special yeah. underwear. Well, Klandathu. Klandathu. It's where the bugs are. Yeah. Yeah. It's a special undies. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about Halley's Comet was thought to cause the end of days? Was it deadly gases in its tail, impact, being pulled out of orbit, or a forced ice age? Ice age. Impact. Pulled out of well, orbit. Pulled out of orbit, yeah. It was gases from the tail. Oh. <laughs> yeah. They thought it had like some sort of cyanide gas that would poison... All of the Earth. We dodged it. How would it get through yeah. the atmosphere? I don't know. Critical thinking skills. It yeah. was uh, 1910, I think. So they, they were just uh, doing was the just, best they could. Yeah, YouTube didn't exist back then. Contact <laughs> comet pills. Oh, uh, Nostradamus predicted the world would end when? 
August 1999, April 1998, September 2000, or December 1997. 1999. I remember when Arnold Schwarzenegger saved the day. Yeah, 99. 1999. I'm going 97. It was the year 1999, and it says it's the seventh month but based on when he was around august would have been the seventh month so but the that's years why are august different too. 1999 end of um, days is a pretty cool movie end of days is a fun movie <laughs> we should watch Let's that talk about that <laughs> we should watch that that's that qualifies right I've never that's seen a it. great movie seen you've so never many, seen end of days seen it so many times it's so it's good. We should, good we should get that on the wheel let's do yeah. that if we get our and i'll do it end of days Kindergarten Cup 2, guys. All right, so into some survival (laughs) stuff. How many gallons of water does one person need to survive a year? To survive. Let's see, they recommend, what, like a a gallon a day? Yeah, but But that's not to survive. No, to survive, you probably need, what, a third of that, maybe? I'll say 100 gallons. Uh, Three. 17. 105. You need 200 gallons, which is about 5,302 regular bottle, bottles of water. To survive? To survive. That sounds really high. Okay. Uh, the average house has how many days worth of food? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. Too much. Too much. 14. Mm, 14 days? Yeah. Seven. Uh, average like four. I mean, a lot of stuff is edible. I don't know if you'd call it food. I'm gonna say three months, three days. Not in my house. <laughs> the average house. What? What do you do after you have to go to the store every three days to get food? Has, like weeks of food. Yeah, exactly. Look at all those Easy Max. Uh, what percentage of people say they didn't exercise once in a given week? Oh, hundred. Fifty percent. Uh, if yeah. I was in there, at least fifty percent. Actually, I did yoga didn't yesterday. Didn't exercise. Does that count as exercising? Might yeah, technically, I guess. Uh, it is thirty-three percent. So you're just fucking that liars. Was, that was a uh, suggestion was to increase exercise so you're ready to go for the end of days. Mm-hmm. But what's the point? If, I mean, if you're left behind. So if I'm left behind, I have to work out? Well, it's you Mad Max. To ready to <laughs> run. Yeah, run and... from the, the mobs. Yeah. Yeah. Cannibals uh, and locusts. All yeah, right, a... last one. Where <laughs> does <laughs> prostitution rank in the top ten post-apocalyptic? Number one. <laughs> Number oh, yeah. one. That's Obviously. where I'm starting. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, it is actually number eight. Number eight. Man, Number that far one down? is oh, medical professional. Survive. Wait, followed by engineer. <laughs> okay. I can't do any medical of this. Professional. <laughs> why, is that, why is it ranked over dentist? <laughs> Smith, oh, at the end of the at really the end of the world, would that. you rather go to the dentist or to the prostitute? Okay. <laughs> well, I wouldn't rather go to any of these people. It seems like useful uh, skills to have, you know. Doctor, engineer, being a prostitute would be soldier, a useful skill farmer. for you. <laughs> Useful skill. All right. Thank you, Rebecca. That was a good game. Yep. Nice job. Time to move on. Do some listener feedback. I suggest we read some listener feedback, sir. Make it so, number one. Email. You tiny little email. You precious little email. Where? Are you? Last week we checked out Master Blaster from 1987, Jesse Mager's pick. Jesse says, "Fun show. Thanks for watching my movie. Sorry you didn't love it. We'll get him next time." <laughs> yeah, the premise yeah. had potential. I think we were all expecting more. Yeah. yeah. Matthew Pfeiffer, hide by all the Turkey Hill ice cream in existence. If you shot a commercial where Chris sensually bathes in a tub full of melted vanilla. <laughs> gotta, gotta wait for the, Is it vanilla for the rapture. Bean? He's got to get through the interview first. He's getting good. Once you get through the rapture, then you can get that. Mm. 
Would you want it uh, like frozen in there when you get in, or, or fully melted? Yeah, your milkshake bring all the boys to the tub. <laughs> I guess fully melted, right? Because it'd be really cold otherwise. It'd probably be really yeah. cold no matter what. Mm. Um, yeah, maybe not fully melted. Let's just go frozen. Do you think that it'd be really uh, cold? Do you think there's an audience that would buy that ice cream after you were in the tub? Oh yeah, me okay. probably yeah. not mine. But if I was like. Attractive woman? Yeah, there's a bunch of creepy fucking dudes. <laughs> what? Yeah. They do that shit all the time now. They're like buying uh, bath water and shit. Yeah. It's gross. Mm. <sighs> have sucks. a little self-respect. I don't have any. I, th if I sell the bath water and people buy it, that's on them, Aaron. Well, I don't if I really sell that like ice cream you. that's been places in my body, that's on them. I'm not blaming you. What would we call that new flavor? Transient. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh Dave of Black, Master Blaster could definitely have been a lot better if they'd gone a little campy and had crazy paintball related deaths. True. Yeah. That would have been fun. Like yeah. choke on a paintball or something. Yeah, or shoot him in the eye. Or, yeah. yeah. Uh, but since I recommended Left Behind, maybe I shouldn't throw stones. Left Behind was way better. Way, way more better. entertaining. Yep. Uh, alternate title Master Blaster, The Meatball Massacre. Okay. Reference to meatballs, perhaps. That's all we got for listener feedback on Master Blaster. You gotta leave a comment down here somewhere. We got an email this week. We got an email. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Did we we get got an email from Michelle Pasito. Did, did we get a fact? Who Ooh. is the writer and director of the film Generation Extinct, which we covered on the podcast. Oh, no way. Ah, yeah, I remember that one. She is says. I loved your all's review of Generation X, a.k.a. American Punks. I made that flick in grad school as a middle finger to grad school. Anyhow, y'all are really funny and love what you're doing. I'll be watching all your episodes. You should definitely check out Monster Force Zero. Be in touch that? if I may ever be able to, helpful to what y'all are doing. We, still, we are still at making low-budget flicks 25 years later just not quite as nihilistic and self-absorbed <laughs> the same labor of love nice that's awesome that's and it's cool. awesome that's thanks, cool, thanks for taking time thanks for that for um that's it for listener feedback you can email us info at bad-movie-night.com or go on the website fill out the thing or send us a voicemail or leave us a comment on the youtubes and we will respond appropriately i think paul rage quit the show after we all made fun of him and we haven't heard from him since, so <laughs> hopefully he's still around. <laughs> Time for the wheel. Let me pull it up. And I want to mention something with this stupid fucking podcast. So it's a restream, which does seem to be a lot better than StreamYard, but it still will randomly cut moments from the podcast. You guys notice that? No, mm. but I don't mm. listen to them all. I don't completely. watch the show, guys. It'll just like cut like t five seconds sometimes. I'll be like, hmm. I, don't, I don't understand That's what weird. happened. On the video or the, pod, the episode, podcast or both? I think both. That's weird. All right, I got the wheel. Let me share. Spiv, you don't ever, you don't ever check out the podcast. Spiv. No, I do sometimes. The wheel. I know Spiv. what we talked about. The so. wheel. Yeah. All fingernails. right. Fingernails. Fingernails is end of the days. Fingernails is end or days. Twilight. Mm. Or kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Son of a bastard. Actually, this is pretty bad. This looks pretty cool. Yeah, Jason this is going to be good. That looks pretty cool. Death from above. I don't know. who. Does anyone know who, who Sean did this? put all of it in the Slack. Slack. Patreon wheel. Death from above is from Sean Corbin. Corbin Birdson. Corbin? Corbin? One man stands up to an ancient druid on a quest to rule the world. We apparently already watched the trailer for this. Oh, no, we didn't. Really? It's got Tom Savini in it and Robert Zadar. Tom Savini? Dude. All right, hold on. And Mark McCauley. Really? I don't know who Mark McCauley is. I don't know. Me neither. Uh, is he related he looks, to he Macaulay looks, He Culkin? looks familiar. <laughs> All right, here we go. Death from Above, 2012. <clears throat> 2012. Sounds right. 12. Directed by Bruce Kohler. Dude, we're not seeing anything. What are you doing? Yeah, you. Oh, show. you guys aren't hearing this. Dude, you guys missed it. It's a big fucking monster truck for some reason. 
Oh my god, oh. Robert Sadar! <laughs> Alright! This looks sweet. This looks sweet. This looks sweet. Death Where from Above, 2012. Oh, it's, it's got a bunch of wrestlers in it. Okay. Um, where where do we watch this? Does anyone know? Is this on Tubi? Where can I watch Death from Above? Dude, this uh, is 2012. This looks fun. Yeah. Stupid. Uh, we'll have to track it down. I'm not sure right now. It Where is uh, not available to stream. Oh. Well, wow. shit. <laughs> Sean, what the frick, Sean? Freaking. All right, spin the wheel again. No, we tube? can't give up on this. This looks good, actually. Well, I know, but we'll have to figure out how to get it. <laughs> Sean probably has it. What are you going to get? Cavender. He's going to have some more coffee for us. I mean, it's got wrestlers. Sin again. Spin again. Yeah, Sean, even Sean right, doesn't have this. Fine. Wow. Fine. we got to spin again. Oh, God again. damn it. No. That looks pretty cool, though. We should try and figure out how to get that. Sorry, uh, Death from okay, Above Sean. got raptured. <laughs> it's got, it's sucked, got sucked to heaven. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, wait, I got to share this, John. All right, spinning. <laughs> Mother of oh, fuck. God. What the fuck, guys? <laughs> I quit this fucking show. <laughs> this is stupid. Are you kidding me right now, Pfeiffer, Matthew Pfeiffer, with your stupid Harry, Billy Owens bullshit? ripoff. He deleted himself. I'm done. I quit forever. <laughs> Fuck. Billy Owens. The Revenge of Billy Owens. The mythical the mystical adventures of Billy Owens. I think it's Fuck. got Ronnie AJ? Piper in it. Don't worry. Yeah. This is available on Tubi. AJ has a child. <laughs> Why am well? I so big on the screen? It's Hold on. Ronnie, it's kind of weird. Ronnie Piper. Ronnie has Piper uh, and a bunch of people with no pictures. It's going to be solid. It's not showing. Hold on. <sighs> Chris is Chris is upset. We went from that badass <laughs> fucking wrestlers with monster trucks and shit to Billy fucking Owens. It's time to know your the mystical destiny. adventures. Join Billy Owens oh God, and his oh, friends voice, on an unforgettable journey filled with magic, <laughs> adventure. Look, it's the cave. Danger. I'm here to warn you. The river project has failed. This town is will that, die. Unless no. you can do something to stop it. One map to find their way. Well, uh, it Look like you've seen a goat. You will not succeed. Alright, and that's the end of the show forever, guys. That's been good doing this fucking show. Why do they hate us so much, Chris? Huh. I thought we were doing popular movies. Fucking on, mystical Twins. Billy Owens. It looks fun, guys. Come on. It's gonna be terrible. It's gonna yep. be terrible. But it has Roddy Piper. It's got uh, haunted. Games. Where was Roddy Piper? I didn't even see him in the trailer. He was right there at the end, wearing he the, was there like, at the, the end, trench coat yeah. with the glasses. He's the bad guy. Maybe. God damn it. He's a wizard. He You're a wizard, wizard, Roddy. Guy. That's he, so he frustrating. Owns a, he owns a that, pawn shop. That fucking Death from Above movie looked badass. Now we got <laughs> stupid fucking Billy <laughs> Owens. Right, that's that's our homework is to track down Death from Above <sighs> over the next week so we can watch it the next time. <sighs> All right, <sighs> next week we're watching <laughs> Billy Owens: The Mystical Adventures of Billy Owens, <laughs> Magical Adventure. I don't fucking know. It's available on Tubi. You're not gonna watch it. No one's actually gonna watch this shit. Spiff's gonna peruse it, and that's about it. <laughs> oh, I'll peruse. This is gonna be awful, isn't it? All it's right. What do you think, AJ? How are you feeling? Fun. I, I'll, I'll try it. You know, I feel like we haven't had a good movie for quite a long time, so why not? End of days. We haven't had a good movie for a long time. Mm-hmm. We've had like ten in a row. What what we just had about? that really good one, Death. Uh, one? Death Machine. Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. Death was Machine all right. was alright. Speed Two. Cruise Control. 
Uh, Red Scorpion? Yeah. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. King's X and me Sellersville? Let's go. Mm -hmm. That's what Aaron said at the beginning. Oh, I didn't listen. Sorry. All right. That's it, guys. We might be back next week. Probably not. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll be in the mystical land of we don't give a shit. Please get here. raptured. Please get raptured. All right. That's it, guys. We'll catch you next time. Good. Bye. <laughs> Bad Movie Night Podcast. Bad Movie Night.